especially after we get finished with tomorrow, and take it out and go across the state with it. So without further ado, let's get started with this evening. And first up, uh, this guy, I met Bob first, I guess, uh, a few months ago. We were, we were all talking about running for office, and uh, Mr. Hall came up, and he actually spoke to our group in Texarkana. They're in Bowie County. He was uh, going to run for Congress at that point, and uh, I wish he would have, because he would have gotten my vote, my family's vote. He, we would have voted two or three times for him, because in Bowie, you can do that. In Bowie County, it's okay. You can do that. And so it's really kind of cool how that works. But anyway, <laughs> please welcome a great Texan, a great American, Bob Hall. Isn't that amazing? My yeah, life. It sure was. Well, I just want to say, we are in the fight of our life. And everybody's heard this thing about this election is the most important one ever. Well, i got to tell you, there is no doubt about that. But this is not the last most important election we'll ever have. Because this is not a short-term fix. We're in a mess that took them 75 to 100 years to create. And we're not going to change it overnight. So we need this election and the next one and the next one. And if you don't think that the establishment is mm -hmm. out to, to stop it from happening, mm -hmm. I want to testify that I was probably one of the first casualties of it. Uh, I helped them along. I'll take my responsibility for the part I played in it. But they took full advantage of it. And uh, they will continue doing that. Because believe me, they do not want the grassroots people down there. They do not want them down there. They have their own game going. And there's a whole lot more to it than ever gets to the surface. And the only way we're going to change that is by grassroots people like Heidi, like Matt, and like many others that we've got uh, that, are, that are running this time. And so I just can't encourage you enough to get other people involved and get out and make this happen. You can't just be cheerleaders. We've got to be soldiers, boots on the ground, with our bayonets fixed Amen. and going after them. I mean, it's going to take work. We've got to all get way out of our comfort zone and make this happen because we've got to have people uh, like Matt and like Heidi and, and these others down there who are going to stand up and make a difference. And they will stand for what is right and not for the inside of the game, uh, inside the ballpark games that they're playing. So all I can say is, is great that everybody turned out here tonight, but uh, you need to get a whole lot more people involved and stick with it. And be careful. Be careful. Keep the I's dotted and the T's crossed because they're looking. 